A High Point man is now in jail accused of dog fighting. The Guilford County Sheriff's Office says officers seized 15 dogs from his home. WXI 12's Louis Tran spoke exclusively to a neighbor who says that a lot of neighbors in that area were concerned for the dogs. And Louis, that man also expressed just sadness. Hey, Christine, that's correct. This neighbor has three dogs. He says they're not just pets, they're his children. He says for more than a year, he noticed that his neighbor did not treat his dogs well. In High Point on Penny Road. It's a little quieter Thursday afternoon. After Guilford County deputies stopped by this house Wednesday and seized 15 dogs, officials say they arrested Toriano Cave. Deputies say he's charged for owning dogs and using them to fight other dogs or animals. Come here, buddy. A neighbor, Keith Waters, says that he wasn't surprised when he heard the news. I had long suspected that he was involved in dog fighting. There's a public walkway right next to Cave's house. The path sits between his home and a neighborhood. Now from the walkway, you can see this in Cave's backyard. Several small shelters made out of barrels surrounded by metal fencing. You walk by his house on when you're on the greenway and you see all those dogs back there uh he's <laughs> he's not a dog lover so why would he have all those dogs back there waters tells me the owner fed his dogs and kept them on his property waters says that not only did he see the dogs at times he could hear them i could hear him yelling at the dogs every day telling them to shut up and the loud barking Waters says many neighbors heard. You could tell when he came out there and yelled at them that he was always concerned that he would get a complaint. Okay, and so that is obviously what eventually happened. And now Waters is showing his dogs a little more love down on Penny Road because a dog's life, he says, is precious and valuable. The dogs, of course, are the victims in all this. The dogs have done nothing but what they were trained to do. I called the Guilford County Sheriff's Office and the county's animal services to get more information like how the dogs are doing. The Sheriff's Office got back with me and declined an interview inside of the ongoing investigation. I also confirmed that the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals directly helped with this case. The spokesperson reached out to me and tells me that she would get back to me by the end of today. In Greensboro, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.